What are the 10 most important rules to know to be good in Wolf Tank Splits? This is that list. Number one, use every advantage that you can find. Be it the ground, be it your tank, be it your teammates. Every advantage you can find, make use of it. Whether it be a tiny hill to get one degree more gun depression, or whether it be wiggle your tank slightly to throw off the enemy's aim. Always use every advantage. Don't just play the game. Think the game. Play with the minds of the enemies. If you're unspotted, drive the other way. Never appear where you last were. Always change your position. Adjust your play. Because if you are predictable, you will be predicted and you will then lose so be unpredictable be prepared outplay and outthink the enemy if you think what the enemy is thinking you know how to beat them because you can choose what their mistakes are and then make it for them number three understand the battle and the battlefield identify which players in your team are useful which are not and identify which players on the enemy team are dangerous and which are not use every advantage again in the minimap take map control look at their minimap watch enemy positions where do they go and always stay aware even if you're in a fight against the enemy always stay aware what your teammates are doing and what the enemies are doing because nobody wants to be in a fight and then suddenly a 183 appears out of nowhere behind a rock you don't want that happen number four the faster you are the better you are. If you can think quickly, if you can peek quickly, you will be a better player than the person that is slow at thinking, slow at peeking, slow at repositioning. Not in terms of the tank speed, but in terms of thinking about where you're going to go next. If you're fast, you win. So try to learn how to peek fast and to think fast. Control the engagement and think for every other player what decisions can they make what decisions do you want them to make do you want that enemy medium that enemy e50m in a hull down spot or do you want to drag him out into an open field where you can beat him easier do you want that enemy tankster to sit it back in the corner or do you want them to try and yolo you think what can the enemy do where can they go what is their goal what are they trying to achieve and then once you know what the enemy is trying to do, you can make sure they won't be able to achieve it. Number six is find your style. Don't just copy someone else. Learn yourself. What is the preferred way that you're enjoying the game? Do you want to play aggressive? Do you want to play passive? Do you want to brawl with other heavies? Do you want to dynamically move around the map, reposition? Find yourself the style that fits you best. And then obviously play the tanks that are best at that style. Don't simply just force yourself to play a type of tank you don't enjoy because the game is about having fun. And if you don't find what tanks you enjoy, you're not gonna be as likely to enjoy the game. So find your style, find your tank, and then play those tanks. Because why would you bother with a tank that you don't like? Number seven is control and maximize your outside factors. Avoid playing during events and prime time, unless you obviously need the event rewards, then that's a bit different. But if you can help it, avoid playing during the time when the average player is at its worst. When the children are online, when the event only players are online, then obviously the match quality is gonna decrease and perhaps you're not gonna be having as much fun as you would be if you play at a different time. Also make sure to play on the best device possible. If you play on a 10 year old phone, you're probably not gonna have as much performance and also make sure that your internet connection is valid for the game because if you're playing on phone or ping, you will never get good at the game. Know every map is number eight. Try to understand what tank you're in, where can you go, what can you do if you're in a hull down tank, which exact places on every map can you go hull down in, if you're a side scraping tank, which parts of every map can you side scrape in, if you're a medium tank, which parts of the map will be your preferred spots to start off in a battle. And also know that during a battle, as it unfolds, 
dynamically reposition yourself and understand in which positions you can get shot at, in which positions you'll be safe from the enemy depending on where their positions are. So the more you understand the maps, the better you're going to be at playing the game. Because if you know where to go and the enemy doesn't, you're going to have a massive advantage like the high ground. Number nine, and this one is especially important, never fight fair. Don't try to fight multiple tanks at the same time. This is not a movie, this is real life. If you fight two tanks at the same time with one tank, you're most likely going to lose it if they are somewhat semi-competent and have enough hit points. Don't try to play the hero. Either you understand that you're going to win the fight, or you're going to try to get out. What is the point if you're in a lower tier vehicle and you're facing a higher tier vehicle? You're not going to try to somehow defeat them. You're going to remove yourself from that situation. If you cannot get out of a situation you've put yourself in, then it is your fault for putting yourself in that position in the first place. And you never should have done that because you always want to play places and ways that give you the advantage and you don't want to put yourself at a disadvantage on purpose. So whatever you do, make sure to never fight a fair fight. Always find the fights that are unfair. Find the enemy that's looking away. Find the enemy that's low hit points. Find the enemy tank that's worse than yours. Find the enemy tank that's in a worse position than you are and then defeat those. Because if you are in the underdog position you are also most likely to lose. So make sure that you always fight unfair. And the only accept the fights that you know that you're going to win. And the most important of them all, which is why I kept it for last, is don't get mad while you're playing the game. If you're angry, you'll play worse. If you play worse, you'll get more angry and that is gonna spiral out of control. So if you see yourself getting angry, if you see yourself not enjoying the game, then quit and come back another day. And if you see yourself not enjoying the game whatsoever, what is still keeping you in the game? Don't get mad at the game or at the players, because here's the thing, your teammates are gonna be shit. They're gonna be shit whether you're mad at them or not. You can't change it, but you can change how you react to it. If you're angry, you're just gonna hurt yourself with it. So make sure you don't get mad. And if you are getting mad, then leave the game and come back another time when you've calmed back down. Because video games are about having fun and multiplayer games will always be infested with terrible players that you will never be able to get rid of. So don't get mad and try your best to have fun because that is the only thing that actually truly matters because once you're in a retirement home in a wheelchair or whatever you're not gonna care what your w and eight was you're not gonna care what your win rate was but you are gonna care about the times you wasted not having fun being mad at a tank game 